was Patton. A lot of folks, man, a lot of folks been DMing me about um what type of business they should start. They should start, you feel me? Like, should I start a uh, exotic car business? Should I be doing some um some Airbnbs? Should I be renting out houses? I personally feel like I wouldn't do that. Like I wouldn't get no no disrespect. You know, it's some folks who 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 eating off of that. But I personally like I wouldn't do no um I wouldn't do no Airbnbs. Like I wouldn't go buy no house or get no loan and go get um a house just to rent out as an Airbnb because it, it's slow money. Like. I mean, you might can shave your profit out the top because I guess you paying back the bank loan. Let's say the house two thousand. Some months you might make six thousand off of it, but some months you might not make nothing. Like I don't like, I don't know. Like I feel like the companies of the future, the middleman companies, like, like look at um, um, look at um, Amazon. Amazon might. They might make their own shit now, like the Amazon store and shit like that. But at first, they was a middleman company. Like, somebody sold the products and somebody else received it. They didn't make, like, Amazon didn't supply you with it. Amazon just delivered that shit to your house. You feel me? Like, they was the middleman. They had the factories. I mean, the, uh, the warehouses or somebody had the warehouse. And they just set it up. Airbnb is a middleman. You know what I'm saying? Turo, Turo is a middleman. Like, Turo, will you rent your car off of? They're a middleman. Like, so, like, picture if you, if, all right, let's say I go get a, uh, a foreign. I go get a Lamborghini and I'm going to rent it out for a thousand a day. I don't think a lot of folks just finna be renting that shit all the time. You feel me? Like, like, and then don't let no goddamn, no dusty ass niggas get a hold of your whip. Like, Let's say I got a nigga dust that nigga come up on five thousand. He don't take care of nothing. You feel me? Like a lot of these niggas don't even take care of their own shit. They be dogging their own whips out. You feel me? Like like you catch your old dust that nigga. He get your goddamn Lamborghini. He burning out. He fucking your tires up. You feel me? He got down dumping his blunt guts in between your seats. You know, on the foreign goddamn, it's hard to goddamn get in the, between the groove where the um where the stick shift is sometimes. In the seat, you feel me? In between right there. Nigga got down wasting blunt guts and, and, and got down shake from the side in the goddamn middle of that shit. He got down burning holes in the seat because, you know, he want to got down put on for holes and his partners in the foreign smoking in your shit got down. So you got to repair that. He got down pushing your shit on the highway. He driving the shit like it's a race car, not a foreign. Like, he going to dog your shit out. And the year got down, your foreign going to be nothing. You feel me? You're going to keep repairing that motherfucker. He probably going to tear your transmission up. And you know, goddamn, if he know you, he going to ride off with the motherfucker for an extra two, for an extra week till you hunt his ass down. Like, damn. You feel me? Like, because you know once you get one, you know 50 niggas, goddamn. They're going to be begging. They're going to want a discount. But the wear and tear on that motherfucker, like, I feel like, like Amazon is the is the biggest, richest company in the world right now. Or in America. I don't know about the world because, you know, China got now. China got some billionaires for real. Like, China been got down doing us bad. Like, no cap, Chinese folks been doing us bad right now. Like, you seen the video, Chinese got them folks telling them got them no nigger allowed and shit like that. I would have knocked his ass out. The got them nigger who was talking to him got down was playing with him. Talking about, man, say something again and I'm asleep. You're like, why is you even talking? Like, go, go got down, knock that nigga out, man. What the fuck wrong with you? But I ain't no racist or nothing like that. But listen, Chinese folks are doing us bad. Like in Atlanta, the goddamn Umi, Umi Sushi nigga. Like, I'm not begging to eat no Chinese food. You feel me? Like, I'm going, the nigga should have just went and ate some soul food or something. You feel me? Like, fuck you trying to, you begging the nigga to eat some sushi for. You feel me? Like, nigga, go eat some soul food, nigga. Go to your folks. They don't want you there. 
They didn't want you there. Why are you begging to go to their shit and they don't want you there? That's like me pushing up to your house, right? And I'm like, hey, um, you ain't going to let me in. Like, hey, bro, you got on tennis shoes. You can't come in my house. And I'm like, nah, bro, let me in. Yo, goddamn, he got on tennis shoes. Let me in and come get some food. Like, hell, hey, nah, you don't want me there. That fuck would probably finna spit in that nigga food. You feel me? Nigga mad at Tip and all kind of crazy monkey shit. Nigga mad at Tilt because Tilt got down. They, they called Tilt. But nigga, go eat some soul food. Bro, on some real shit, listen, I'm not a racist. But them folks ain't coming at our shit, eating our shit. You feel me? Like, shout out to all. I'm cool with some Chinese people. Shout out to the good ones. But when when the, when the when have you ever seen one of them in a goddamn, in a soul food restaurant? When you ever seen a Chinese person in a soul food restaurant? You ain't never seen that, have you? I wait. I've never seen that in my life. I ain't never seen them folks push up talking about they want some collard greens or they want some cabbage or they want some goddamn fried chicken. I ain't never seen that in my life. You feel me? So stop begging the goddamn fuck with these folks. They don't fuck with us. We I'm not begging nobody. Listen, the last time I was on the road and goddamn, I went into one of them folk restaurants. We was 20 deep, right? We 20 deep. The goddamn buffet, $19.99, right? Them folks, um, them folks goddamn said some shit to me, like, um, pull up your pants or something. I'm a grown ass man. Like, what the fuck is you even telling me something about my wardrobe for? Then we finna spend $400 with y'all weak ass. You feel me? Like, when they said that, you know what I did? I just turned around and walked out. I'ma take my money elsewhere. When I went to Louis V, them folks with, um, said some shit, nobody would help me. Then they said something smart. I'm going to take my $7,000 i am finna spend, and I'm going to go somewhere else. I don't trip. I'm not begging to spend my money with nobody who don't fuck with me, man. Fuck these folks. Listen, fuck whoever got a problem with me. I ain't spending no money with you. I got the money. I'm racked up. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. They follow me around the goddamn beauty supply. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? Like, man, fuck these folks. We got now, I got all topic, man. You feel me? Like, like I said, I'm not racist or nothing like that. Like, I got Chinese partners and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got love for that culture, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's folks in that culture who got love for us, but it also is a lot of folks in that culture who ain't got no love for us, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody don't fuck with us. Like, wherever we go, it's always a goddamn somebody goddamn fucking with a nigga, you feel me? Like, like you know how this shit goes. Like, if you got a legal 512 pull you over, they on your head about that shit. They think it's illegal already. Like, they think your five is not legal. Like, I be hearing goddamn lame-ass niggas say shit like, man, that nigga got legal guns. Like, what? Are you roasting a nigga because he got legal guns? Niggas is lame, dog. Niggas is hoes. Niggas is roasting niggas because they got legal five. You feel me? See that that's some whole shit. Niggas is hoes, dog. You roasting a nigga cause he got good credit. Cause he can go make the low payments on the Rolls Royce. You feel me? That another nigga done cashed out for. He only got one point five million or he only got a million. He done cashed out on a two hundred and fifty or three hundred thousand dollar vehicle. So he done spent one third of all his goddamn money like a dumbass. You feel me? Niggas is crazy, dog. Like, I don't get it. You feel me? Like, but but back to the uh, subject at hand. I feel like middleman businesses is popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, like on um, shit. Like, like I said, like Amazon is a middleman. They just became like I heard they got the Amazon store. Is that true? Anybody know? Like they got the Amazon grocery store where you can go in that motherfucker and, and cash out and, and get your items and get up out that motherfucker. And then they got the um the goddamn uh but they middleman and you feel me? Like if you got a business, they basically find the buyer from their site and they get it to you. And and they don't have no liability like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gotta make nothing. You know what I'm saying? They just bring it to you. Um Airbnb. Airbnb don't own one house. You rent a you rent something from Airbnb, they don't own one house. You feel me? They just set it up. They find the clientele, they find the owners, and they set it up. They middleman and get a percentage. It's no liability. Ain't no, cause think about it. A nigga come to your house. I ain't letting no nigga come to my house and stay. You feel me? Niggas fuck shit up. Like niggas dirty, nasty. I ain't talking about just black folk. I'm talking about people. Period. You feel me? Like nigga come to your house. 
goddamn bring goddamn whatever fleas they got on them. You feel me? Because nigga don't be wanting to take no showers and shit like that. Leave your house dirty, smoking your shit, make the walls black, smoking cigarettes and all kind of unnecessary shit. You feel me? Goddamn. Won't take their shoes off, goddamn tracking mud all on your goddamn carpet, wear and tear. I'm not doing that, man. Why would I do that? And like I said, with the exotic cars, like niggas going to fuck your shit up. They going to dog it out. They drive it like it's a goddamn SRT. They driving a the goddamn, they driving a the Lambo truck like it's an SRT that I'm letting them rent. Fucking my shit up. Nigga might take your shit to a whole nother state, dog. Put all kind of miles on your shit. He done got, he in the A, he done got down went to Texas. You feel me? Got down went to Texas for the weekend, put... 1,200 miles on your shit, brought it on back, decreased the value of that motherfucker by goddamn 40, 50,000. He done smoke goddamn all kind of zaza in your shit. You know the shit is strong, goddamn, so it leave it at the smell. You really can't get it out for the next nigga, you know what I'm saying? Then that process done happened 10 times in two months. You feel me? Like, um, no, sir, I'm not doing that. What kind of bit? I'm a real businessman, you feel me? I believe in low investment, high reward. Why am I putting up a million dollars? You feel me? Like, it's 2020. You feel me? Like, it's 2020, man. Niggas talking about Trump got rich off real estate. No, he didn't, man. His pops left him some money. Trump pops left him some money. It's documented. His de- Trump Trump was born in it. You feel me? He was born in it, not sworn in it. So, when, he, when his daddy died, he left him some money. He left him probably a few million. And, um... Trump made his money from scamming, man. You know, he's a big scammer, man. Like, he getting them loans. That's why they always talking about Russia gave him some money. He told them folks, man, I can got down triple your money. You feel me? Got down. Just get, give me like 300 million. I triple that shit. Pay y'all back on the back end, man. You know, I'm finna be president one day. Got down. He told Putin, I got you. You feel me? Like, nigga, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give me a few years. Let me got down, run through the White House. Set some shit up, you feel me? Whoever, got down Iran, whoever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Niggas thinking he got down, nigga, ain't nobody talking about no motherfucking Trump Tower. Who the fuck live in the Trump Tower? I don't know one nigga who got a goddamn spot in the Trump Tower. All these rich niggas I know, all these rich niggas I be around, multi-millionaires, ain't damn one of them got a spot in the Trump Towers. I don't even hear goddamn no white folks talking about they got a spot in the Trump Tower. Like, what's going on here, man? Don't get fooled by this nigga, man. He's scamming, man. He big scammer, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on, man. Nigga slow out here, man. Niggas think he got down, got this shit out in the mud. No, sir. He got this shit. Got this shit through the scamming, man. All you got to do is got down, look at it. He got down, go get a business loan. He probably done got a business loan for $250 million. Got down, said the business didn't work out. Ah, uh, you know what? This shit didn't work out. You feel me? Like, I can't pay y'all folks back. Um, and he ain't liable for it. Guess what? Oh, man, you know what? That corporation right there, it ain't here no more. It don't work. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we failed. Now we over with. And he started new and do the same thing. He got a face. You know, one thing when you got a face out here like me, like me, I know so many plugs. I can go anywhere and get packed off face. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can go I can go to Seattle, get packed off face. Or, I mean, um, um, Denver, Cali. You feel me? I got a face. My face card good. You feel me? I ain't never ran off. I mean, I did, but you know the nigga deserved it. You feel me? Like he got down, tried to hike up, hike up the price. That was back when got down. Um, um, OG was popping. He got down, sent me some perks. I'm like, give me twenty one. Like, come on, dog. This shit right here worth fourteen. Why are you trying me, man? We got kids to feed. Like, you just gonna try a nigga up like that? Like, I'm got down lame or something. Telling me a high ass number. That's trying me. Like, I feel like that's trying me. Like, you got down, send me some shit. You supposed to be. Big boy plug, you say you growing it, and you give me a, you trying me with a high number. When goddamn woo white woo from up the street getting his shit for lower than me, and his shit done went through three hands. Like what you think I'm sweet or something? You feel me? Like oh, you think I don't know numbers or something? And I done got them move thousand, two thousand bags for you. You feel me? You say you got a daughter, I'm goddamn putting money in your pocket. You feel me? Like, I ain't trying to goddamn fuck you over. But guess what? You don't give a fuck if I eat or not. You feel me? That See, that's when I get the goddamn hand niggas, because you act like you don't care if I can feed my family, especially if I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I fuck with you, you supposed to be fucking with me the same way. You know what I'm saying? But niggas don't 
Niggas don't see that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas tell you shit like, I'm giving you the same numbers I'm giving bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm giving you a lower, lower number than, than I'm giving bro. You know what I'm saying? Which really ain't my business what number you giving another nigga. But you making it my business by coming to me, telling me that. By putting me in it. You involving me. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm doing is I'm like, God now, all right, shit. You trying to make me feel special. Like, okay, cool. Because I, I move more bags anyway. So I'm supposed to get a lower number because I get more. You know, the higher you go, the, low, the lower the number go. You feel me? Like, you don't you don't give a bag to a nigga who buying 50. You don't give a number to a nigga who getting 50 the same as a nigga who getting one. What, what, what sense do that make? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I mean, you can. Some niggas do. You know what I'm saying? But the way sometimes it works, like, all right, I'm getting 50, so that's why I go up on the number. Like, I can just get a dub right now, but I get 50 because the the number drop. You know what I'm saying? Since I'm getting so many. So I ain't just going to get 20. I'm going to get 50 so you can drop the number for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's times I might spend everything I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, you charging me three um, for one, but if I get 10, you going to give me a 28 number? You know what I'm saying? Or 28.5? You know what I'm saying? You know, we niggas will do some goddamn. Niggas be petty. Like, they're not $50 off. You know what? I can knock 50 off each one for you. I ain't nigga. I'll take it. But you need to goddamn knock a dollar off that motherfucker at least. You feel me? Like, knock a whole dollar off. Like, why your petty ass just talking about getting niggas love to lie? Like, man, I'm only making 50. I ain't even really making nothing. Shut your lying ass up, man. You ain't just making $50 on that shit. But, um... Back to the business at hand, man. Like I said, I I would um I would goddamn I would start a middleman business. Cause the trend is see I follow with the with the biggest businesses or I try and be different. The biggest the biggest business is Amazon. You know what I'm saying? The biggest business is Amazon. It ain't no real estate company. It ain't no rental companies other than shit like Airbnb. Airbnb middleman. So they ain't, so guess what? If somebody fuck up your house, goddamn, they ain't got to pay for no renovations. You got to pay for that shit. The nigga who rent it out, they crystal clear and free. They on to the next nigga who making them some money. Huh? Fuck about you getting your house fucked up. You feel me? So I would be trying to goddamn middleman some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, that's how they trick us. They trying to make us think ownership is everything. Sometimes, yeah, own your business. You ain't got to own everything that involves your business. So listen to what I just said. Own your business. You don't have to own everything that involves your business. You a middleman. You get what I'm saying? Like, like you don't got to touch nothing. You get what I'm saying? You just set up the play. I'm just setting the play up. I ain't got to put my hands on shit. On uh, Airbnb, I just set the play up. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he want to rent it? You got the house? Boom. I'm going to connect y'all, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge a fee. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, my house ain't got no wear and tear. He happy, you happy. You know what I'm saying? I think you can get sued, though. You know, like, let's say you got them get an Airbnb and somebody got them get killed in that motherfucker. I don't know who lied, but I ain't never got them. I didn't read that far into it, so I don't, I don't know what'll happen with that. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, middleman some shit. Like, Turo. Started out like Turo. You know what I'm saying? Turo got them. I think that's how you say it. They, they don't own the car. I guarantee you, if you rent your car... The more than 20 niggas got there, your shit going to be fucked up. Your shit going to smell like loud. Your tires going to be burnt out. Your transmission going to start fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Um, It's going to be all kind of problems. Like I said, niggas dog your shit. Bro, when I rented a farm, I dogged that motherfucker. I'm talking about dog. Now I'm pushing it. How fast can it go? It's a foreign. You feel me? Nigga, I drove that shit like it was an SRT. Like it was a demon. You feel me? Like... Or 392 or something like that. I wasn't driving that motherfucking nice and calm, old, classy, you feel me? Like, that's what they for. You go to drive them motherfuckers classy. You don't fuck. Listen, if you buy if you buy a $250,000 car, you don't dog that motherfucker out. You feel me? Like, how many niggas you see online burning out in the farm? You don't see many. You burn out, nigga. You see niggas burning out in the track hop and all kind of shit like that. You feel me? But like I said, niggas gonna fuck your shit up. You know niggas gonna fuck your shit up, man. Niggas come to your house and fuck it up. How many partners you done had come to your house and got down? They don't clean up behind themselves. They shit in the toilet. Got them shit stank, leaving all kind of shit all around. Come on, man. We gotta keep it a thousand, man. So, but like I said, no disrespect to nobody who got them 
Like Batman and Kivo probably eating off that shit. Like that's brush shit. But you, like I said, everybody don't eat off um the same thing. You feel me? Like you gotta you gotta figure out what works for you. Just like renting out houses, man. The tenant will fuck your shit up, man. Tenant will have your your crib all nasty. You don't spend you don't spend thirty thousand on renovations trying to fix up the, the motherfucker after they done left. You feel me? Like what kind of shit is that? You know niggas is nasty, man. Most niggas is nasty, man. Most niggas come. I'm talking about people. Most people be fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? I don't went. I don't went to two nice looking Airbnbs in the last week or two. Niggas been rats in them motherfuckers. They ain't had like bugs or nothing like that. But rats, nigga, rats is the worst shit you can have. You feel me? Like rats in your ceiling, going through your trash and all kind of shit. I done had to vacate them motherfuckers. Like I'm up out this motherfucker. You feel me? So guess what? They're going to spend money. Um, I can complain, leave bad reviews, all kind of shit like that. Once a nigga here, rats was in the, was in the nigga house. They not coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to no house that got rats or mice in that motherfucker. That's a nasty ass house. You might lose business for six months. You feel me? So that's why I say start you a business where it's a low cost, high reward. That's how I feel about business. You feel me? Like, and then if you, let's say you a young nigga, you feel me? Like, when I say young nigga, like, if you on my shit right now, you a young nigga, like, 15, you need to start working on something now so you can be fire at it by the time you got down, by the time you 25, you know what I'm saying? Like, like NBA players start when they five years old, most of them. It's some, um, you know, like Mutombo, I heard that nigga got down, started at um, 18 or some shit like that. He wasn't that fat though. Like, come on, like, let's keep it a thousand. Well, Tombo was not that fat. Shaq was doing that nigga bad. Goddamn, when he was dropping the elbow on that nigga shoulder and lifting up and dunking on that nigga. Yeah, he was getting some blocks and shit like that, but Mutombo was not that fat, bro. He didn't have no jumper. He might have had like a little 15 footer or something like that, but he wasn't just dominating shit. You feel me? Like, he was, he was slick. Trash if you want to keep it a thousand. He might have caught a oop or something, you know what I'm saying? But just keep it a thousand. The nigga was not fire, you know what I'm saying? But NBA players and NFL players start playing when they got them when they when they like five years old. So think about it. That's why they get paid millions. They've been working on their craft since they were five years old. Niggas think you can just got them. Let me tell you, niggas be telling y'all they just start doing this and just start doing that. That's not going to work for everybody. It don't work out like that for everybody. I'm sorry to tell you. Like, I'm going to start rapping tomorrow. You probably not going to make it. It's only like 15 top rappers. I keep telling y'all that. It's 15 popping rappers who getting paid doing shows. Maybe 20. It could be 30. But that's still not a lot. It's like 300 million niggas. And 100 million is probably our age group. You feel me? Like our age group is probably like what? Now, probably like 75 million. Because, you know, a lot of niggas dead in jail. Like RP to my niggas who dead. Shout out to my niggas in prison. I hope y'all come home soon. But I, I say like 50 million. So look at the odds. 30 top niggas per year. 50 million niggas. <laughs> what's that? Like, what's that percentage? What is your percentage? You feel me? I'm not trying to goddamn fuck up nobody from doing nothing. But I'm telling y'all to start early. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to goddamn discourage nobody. What I'm telling you is to eat, work even harder. You feel me? Like, I started working when I was seven years old. On music, on my talent, like I ain't even one of them type of niggas who finna be like, man, I started rapping. I just can do music. I don't care about music though. Like I'm not in the industry. Like you don't see me like, man, I ain't win no BET award. I'm mad, man. Fuck BET. I don't give a fuck about BET. I care about the check. Like, like niggas is complaining about BET. You need to be complaining that these majors forgot them raping niggas. You feel me? Like, stop complaining about BET. That shit ain't no check. Complain about these major labels because they raping niggas. They giving niggas 18%. You get 18% of the money you make and you complain about an award, dog. You feel me? Like, I'm talking about, like, we need to be complaining about major labels. You feel me? No disrespect to no artists or nothing like that. I love, I, I, I'm cool with everybody, you know what I'm saying? But but we need to be complaining about these majors, you feel me? Like, we complain about the, the black shit. We complain about the nigga shit. And we ain't complaining about the white folks raping us. You feel me? Like, I don't get it, man. I don't know. It, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm 
Maybe I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm tripping. We're complaining about niggas who didn't give us a piece of a medal. You feel me? Like, they ain't give us a trophy, a piece of metal. But we not complaining about niggas raping us. Like, labels is literally raping us, dog. And we complaining about some bullshit that ain't no check. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't even watch that shit. I ain't never watched that shit in my life. You feel me? Like, I was probably in a trap. Or I got them on a laptop when that shit came. I don't even know the date for it. I don't watch none of them shows. You feel me? Like, I got real life shit going on. You feel me? Like, nigga Lil Cyrus got a goddamn beef. He, I, I'm showing him how to goddamn get his aim on point. Lil Izzy, I'm showing her how to get her aim on point. Like, I don't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you a fuck about that. I mean, I go, if they ask me to come perform, like, I probably go perform. I ain't gonna count like I won or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? But, but I don't care about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go perform and still say, fuck them niggas. Like, man, fuck BET right after I perform. Got now just to go viral on their ass, you feel me? I go perform, we not lazy, just to show niggas I'm working. And then at the end, be like, man, fuck BET, if it's live. You know what I'm saying? Just to make a statement on that. I don't give a fuck about no BET, man. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. MTV, the Grammys. What's some other shit, though? The AMA. I don't even like doing videos. So why would I care about the VMAs, the video music, whatever the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what do I look like? I don't like taking pictures. I don't like doing none of that. I'm not a model. I'm not a fucking model. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga be like, man... Let me take some pictures of you, nigga. No, man. Put that fucking camera up. Get the fuck out of my face, dog. I'm not no mop. Why you taking pictures of me? You feel me? Like, nigga, do I look like that now I'm trying to be pretty? You feel me? Like, this ain't what that is. Anybody want to make music? Nigga, no. No, we want to make some money. Not a... Model, <laughs> y'all niggas crazy, man. But it, but and another thing that be discouraging folks is niggas got them always be talking shit about niggas. So niggas probably be getting insecure. I ain't talking about me. I'm just talking about you know the internet will bully a nigga. You feel me? Like, like <laughs> it's an incident that happened. You know the internet on the nigga head, not me. Other niggas, you feel me? Like as soon as it happened, boy, they on his head. You feel me? Like. They be like, damn, y'all calm down, man. Niggas got them. Niggas be having imperfections, got them. Niggas, let me tell you, you would think niggas in the comment is perfect, the way they be roasting niggas. You would think, got them, everybody on the internet is perfect, have no imperfections. A nigga not fat, a nigga not too skinny, you feel me? A nigga hair perfect, nigga teeth perfect. The way niggas be roasting niggas on the internet is crazy, man. But back to the business, man. Start your middleman business. Goddamn, find you something in the middleman and make your percentage all that shit. You ain't got to own the whole world. See, niggas is too greedy with business. Like, man, I got to own this and I got to own that. And I got to do this and I got to do that. Nah, you just got to get your piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Amazon, I run shit because they were just getting their piece at first. Now they running the whole world. You feel me? They were just getting their percentage. You know what I'm saying? See, let me tell y'all something about America, man. America is what you call consumers. We consumers. We buy shit. We don't make shit. We just buy shit. You know what I'm saying? We make music. We make sport. We make entertainment here. Everybody else makes shit, send it here, and we buy it. We consumers. So if you find something different and you make it, guess what? We're going to consume that shit. You feel me? We're going to buy that motherfucker. That's what we do here. We buy shit. You know what I'm saying? We consume, 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 consume. We spend money. America spend money. This is the only country where you can be born broke as fuck. Zero dollars, your family broke, stand in the hood and be rich. Like in Mexico, that ain't happening. You feel me? Unless you a goddamn Pablo type nigga. You feel me? Or you goddamn El Chapo or something. Nigga, you gonna be considered a peasant. You feel me? Like most niggas over there, goddamn, it's dirt poor. Why you think they begging to come here, goddamn? Niggas is walking 500 miles across the desert. No water, goddamn heavy-ass backpack. Probably with their kids in that motherfucker trying to get over here. I feel them. I see why they trying to get over here. Like, 
Because it's once you born poor over that motherfucker, you probably ain't going to get rich. You got to join the cartel. And you know that danger. You probably get your shit chopped off real quick. You know, that cartel shit, niggas ain't playing. You feel me? Like, nigga, I used to go online. And them niggas got down with chopping niggas' heads off and putting their body parts in buckets of acid. Nigga online, live online. They chopping niggas up and putting their bodies in acid. You feel me? Like, but them niggas ain't playing. You feel me? Like, nigga, they'll wipe out your whole generation. You feel me? Like, I'm talking about mama, daddy, nigga, nigga, you, your kids, nigga, and whoever finna be born. You feel me? Like, nigga, you gone. You feel me? So, it's the only country where you can be poor, dirt poor, and be rich. Nigga, I just seen a whole village in Africa somewhere beat a nigga to death. And then they then they set him on fire. Nigga, that shit was crazy. You feel me? Like, nigga, be lucky you over this motherfucker. You feel me? Because you can get some money over here. You know, goddamn, you born in certain countries, but you ain't getting shit. Iran. Nigga, you got to have a name. You got to be born the king or something. If you ain't the king, boy, you ain't shit. You feel me? That's why they got down breaking their back trying to come over to this motherfucker. You feel me? Like, like I said, you can get them racks over here. So that's why you can't waste your time, boy. You can't You can't just be out here sitting broke. You got to start you a business. This the only country, man. Everybody got a business out of this motherfucker, man. And they making a little money. So you got to be like, what's, what's my excuse? Why I'm not doing that? Then all you got to do is go on Google. To find out what the fuck going on, like, I just be going on there seeing what's going on. And you know, it's always a nigga saying something online. Like, niggas always putting you on game. Niggas get paid to put you on game. Online. Niggas, that's what niggas do. They get paid. It's some niggas out here who get paid to put niggas on game. That's what I do. I get paid to put niggas on game. You feel me? You can do anything. I have niggas always trying to smoke. You can sell some side. You feel me? Like... I don't know, man. It's just me. I don't know who. Oh, you the plug. Facts. Money, man. Do it for free. Now, I get paid. I get paid. I don't just do it for free. Like, ain't nothing free. I get paid. You feel me? Like, I'm going to get paid off shows. I go do shows. I'm going to get 25 30 a show. You feel me? If I know you, I might give you a little deal, you feel me? But I don't be trying to leave the house unless you got down talking about at least 25, 30, you know what I'm saying? Then I come in, do a few songs, got down, vibe with the people, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I get paid, though, you feel me? Like, I get streams, you feel me? Gold, records, finna go platinum, shit like that. But other than that, goddamn, I'm going to put a nigga on some game. I'm going to let you know something. Like, you consume my shit, you got down going to get better, at least health wise, you feel me? Uh, mentally wise, you know what I'm saying. You gonna you gonna learn some, some that you doing that's toxic. You gonna learn some to try and stop doing whatever you doing that's toxic. Cause one thing you don't want to do, like let's say you and my shit, let like, let's say you like 18, 19, you got them, you just fucking off, you, yeah, shit. I'm 18. I don't give a fuck. I don't know whatever, whatever, whatever. You don't want to goddamn end up older and broke as fuck. Like, you don't want to be 35 and you broke. Like, what what sense do that make? You done fucked off all the way to you 35 and broke as fuck? Like, that's not me. I'm not finna be 35 and broke. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 35 with some M's. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what sense do that make? You know what I'm saying? You done had some kids. You got them kids struggling. You know what I'm saying? Got them, your baby mama dogging you out. She talking about you ain't shit. You ain't never gave her nothing. Like, that ain't me. Like, you ain't never going to hear my baby mama talking about I'm, I'm, I'm broke. You know what she going to do? She going to speak highly of the kid, whether I'm with her or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, niggas be out here getting disrespected. Goddamn. You feel me? Like, niggas' names, niggas' face burnt out. Everybody talking bad about you. You feel me? Like, niggas ain't got no money in their pocket. Like... No, sir. Like, that ain't how you supposed to live out here. You feel me? Like, you supposed to have them M's, and you supposed to got that have your face card good where you can go get whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you supposed to pull up somewhere in the plug, just throw you 20 off face. You know what I'm saying? Because they know you good for it. You try and pay them. Now, I don't even want the money right now. Go sell them, then give me the money. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out here, the plug, don't even want to push up on you. You feel me? Like, I don't even want to meet you. I'm cool. I don't even want to meet you. I already know about you. 
He fucking your baby mama. She done told him all about you. Your baby mama done, your baby mama got down fucking a plug because she bad. And, and she done told him all about you. He got down taking care of your son now. See, some, some lame man nigga probably like, well, shit, let him pay. You feel me? You just a guy down that ass nigga. That's you. You feel me? Like, that's just what it is. You feel me? Now, I know a situation like that. Like, the got down, the nigga got down, got down, broke ass nigga got down. I ain't saying he, see, he's broke because of his own decisions. Like, I can see if you got down just from the hood and you ain't got no opportunity, you don't really know nothing, ain't nobody put you on nothing. That, that, that really ain't on you. You know what I'm saying? That's not, that's kind of not on you because you fucked up and you don't know nothing. Nobody put you on nothing. You feel me? But if you got them to have opportunities, you blew the check. You feel me? Like, so you, you feel me? Like, you don't want to blame. And then honestly, like, you still got to get the blame because social media out here, man. It's all kind of niggas playing niggas on game on social media on how to do shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying. Like, some niggas was acting like they was too good to got them. You know, do the job. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you too good to get some money? Like, you got to figure that other shit out later. When you're back against the wall, like, I don't give a fuck about prison or nothing like that. Goddamn, nigga stomach touching his back and shit like that, man. Fuck that. Nigga goddamn got to go get it, you feel me? Whatever it takes. When goddamn my goddamn little kids got to eat, man, it's whatever it takes. You feel me? Like, I get locked up for that shit. TV. You can see that motherfucker all oh, right now. What's on that motherfucker? Some cartoon. Oh my little son watching, man. That nigga bad as fuck though, man. He don't went to sleep, boy. He be up, up and at it. OSB, what's popping, my dog? But um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I know a nigga got them. Um. His goddamn baby mama was dogging him out to the plug. Plug didn't even want to serve him, you feel me? Like, goddamn nigga, goddamn your baby mama out here fucking your face card up, you feel me? Like, you know how these hoes get sometimes, you feel me? And listen, ladies, every girl, every female is not a hoe, you know what I'm saying? But but when you got a goddamn bitch sleeping with the plug and her baby daddy and they both know each other, like, that's... Some niggas don't give a fuck with... Come on, that's kind of that's kind of messy. You feel me? Like, like I don't like messy shit. Like, like I break up with a with my with my baby mama and she got down fucking my partner. Like, what kind of shit that is? Like, then really, like I know I know niggas be like, man, you ain't supposed to care about these hoes, but my partner on some lame shit too, like. Nigga, go get you some hoes. Like, nigga, you got a guy now. You ain't got no game or something like that. You got to you gotta fuck with a hoe, I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, get your leeching ass on. Go get you some hoes. Like, you ain't got, too, you ain't got your own group of females that you be fucking with. You got to come in my mix. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never beef with no nigga over no females. But you got to come in my mix. But let me tell you, like, niggas be talking all that goddamn... Man, fuck these hoes. I don't care about these hoes. Niggas be killing each other over hoes. It be to impress hoes a lot of times. Acting hard in front of hoes, trying to impress them. Keep it a thousand. That's what niggas be doing. I done heard thousands of stories, man. This shit never fails, man. This shit never fails. You feel me? Like, niggas kill each other over hoes. Like, it's an age old story. You know what I'm saying? So. It just is what it is. But um, business is mine. Amazon. Check out Amazon Formula. See, what I do is I check out the biggest business and I see they formula and I try and base my shit off that. Like I said, we in 2020, a lot of niggas be on ancient shit like them old businesses, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, let me start a car wash. <laughs> you feel me? Like, what's that going to do? Like, we're trying to make M's. We're not trying to make hundreds of thousands or regular thousands. We're trying to make M's. Even if you're just trying to make 300000 a year, you feel me? Like, I, like, it's like being a truck driver, right? So, this, this is a perfect example. You want to be the nigga who got to handle the load. 
take it, unload it. They might have some niggas at the factory who unload that motherfucker for you. Or you want to be the nigga who just set up the load. Now, I understand a nigga who take the load probably make like, let's say he made 1500 for the load, right? So I, I own the truck. I got a driver. I made 1500 I'm going to get a driver selling 50 I'm going to keep selling 50 I'm just making some shit up. That, this ain't no real thing. Um, but I had to pay for the truck. You know what I'm saying? But I, me, I would be the middleman. I'm the nigga got down on the CB who telling you where to go. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I get 200 out of that. You know what I'm saying? Or 300 Just give me 200 300 You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to find no driver. I ain't got to got down on no truck. You know what I'm saying? Just give me 300 out of that. Goddamn. Go do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all figure that out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to find the factory who need the load brought to them. I'm going to find the nigga who supply the factory. And I'm going to find the nigga who bring it to the factory. You get what I'm saying? And I'm going to get my little cut for doing nothing. Making a few phone calls. And guess what? That nigga right there, he can drive what? What you allowed to drive? 12 hours on the road? You, I think you were allowed to do 12 hours straight. I'm going to let him do his 12. He only can do 12 hours. And he he made sell 50. Other nigga made sell 50. So you see 1500 was made, right? I done did 30 of them. I done made 6000 You done made sell 50. Your partner done made sell 50. I done did 30 of them that day. I done made 6000 Even if it's a slow day, I done did 10. I done made 2000 Two thousand go to me and my company right in our pocket. We ain't owning no truck. We ain't got no maintenance costs. I'm sitting at home. We don't own no office. I'm at the crib like this, kicking it. You don't have to drive. You feel me? You don't have to drive twelve hours. You're tired as fuck. You owning a truck. Your your transmission might break down. You know what I'm saying? Like most niggas got down. Them trucks ain't no joke. You feel me? My pops drove trucks for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. Nigga, that shit ain't no joke, you feel me? Like, he always talking about his back was hurting. Goddamn, his nerves was hurting, you feel me? He got down, always was fixing the truck, you feel me? Always had to goddamn come up with the money to fix the truck, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, that shit ain't easy like niggas be thinking. Like, man, how much a truck cost? That motherfucker 70 racks, you feel me? So you gonna pay a 70, then you gonna go do some load. Then you gotta find a quality driver. Come on now. It's not reliable workers out here no more. Let's be a thousand. Everybody's a something. Everybody a celebrity. Niggas is not running and drive no trucks no more. You know what I'm saying? You know everybody's a celebrity. Every nigga you meet is a celebrity now. Like. So guess what? You ain't finding no workers. Them days is over with. You feel me? Like when you can find a goddamn reliable worker and shit like that. But niggas has got them stars, boy. No money in their pocket. I'm a star. You know what I'm saying? I'm not lifting nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to take selfies in the mirror. I'm talking about niggas. I'm going to take selfies in the mirror. Females might work harder than niggas now. I think I done seen some females. Like, I drive the truck when I had a truck. I drive it for you. I couldn't find a nigga to do shit. I'm talking about period, boy. A nigga didn't want that, boy. He talking about he a celebrity guy now. So you know how that shit go. Bruh, I can't even get my Starbucks coffee made right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, boy. Everybody's leaving the niggas who working at Starbucks. Like, the niggas who working at Starbucks is celebrities. So I'm just doing this in the goddamn meantime. Like, listen, dog, you ain't got to explain to me, goddamn. I done had a job before. I worked at goddamn UPS factory before. Let me tell you... I work at UPS just to goddamn figure out how to get the pack back. Like I go to I go work at UPS now just to be like, let me see the ins and outs of UPS so I can figure out how I'm gonna get the pack back. What I do is I go out to Northern Cali, I work at their UPS, see how I need to goddamn get it delivered, what kind of security measures is going on, what does it go through a scanner, what can beat the scanner, can they poke a hole in it, goddamn, where they can smell it. Um, do they be having the dogs on this day? How often is it random? Then what I'll do is I'll go back to that. Hey, i work at the UPS there. See what the procedure is. Most of that shit, I think, was going through Memphis. i go to Memphis and get a job for two months just to figure it out. Find somebody in Memphis. Maybe got them do some shit like that. You know, I'm methodical. That's why I make the check. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm real methodical. I, I really put in work. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Like when I used to got um, go be blessing my mood, I didn't have no hair. You know what I'm saying? I got hair now, but I got them put on the fake hair. You know what I'm saying? I, I got the whole beanie and dreads. You feel me? The motherfuckers look real. You know what I'm saying? Um, got them remade the license plate. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure I drive the most common car. Like, I'm gonna get the goddamn the charger. It was the charger around that time. Cuz come on, you know what I'm saying? Here go a fire. If you ain't got no fire, you know, you get, I'm going to give you one. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you hang with me and you ain't got no fire, I automatically give you one. You know what I'm saying? Because you a grown man out here and you ain't got no fire on you. Like, that's dangerous to me and to yourself and to your family because you have no fire. Niggas having fire out here and you ain't got one? Like, you, you living in 1965. Niggas ain't fighting no more. You feel me? Like... Niggas ain't trying to hit that goddamn fighting shit. Most niggas can't fight anyway. They ain't trying to hit that shit. Niggas shooting, you feel me? Niggas gonna goddamn knock your shit off. Quick, too, especially at times like this. When niggas done did all that scam, all niggas did was goddamn get their little 10 racks and go to the pawn shop. They sent the little bitch in the pawn shop. They sent their partner in the pawn shop who ain't got no felony. And guess what they did? They racked up on straps. I ain't gonna lie. I respect that. If a nigga got down, got that 10 and, and got 10,000 worth of straps, I'm not mad at him. Because he thinking about his safety. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's nothing wrong with thinking about your safety at all times. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas be out here vulnerable, can get killed at any minute, no fire. Like, what's that about? You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you a square. If you a square, you're supposed to have a fire. Like, if you got a, a regular office job, you're supposed to have a fire. What if a nigga push up and he trying to rob you? You just... Just gonna give it up. What if he a killer? Like, what if he, what if he, a, what if he known for robbing and killing? Cause that's just what he like doing. You just gonna be a victim out here. You just out here naked, a victim, a sheep. You feel me? You know, like the animals who can't really protect themselves. They ain't got no defense mechanism. Like a sheep, a sheep can't do nothing. It ain't gonna kick you. It ain't gonna bite you. It just got them die. Like a wolf coming and got down kill a sheep or a deer. The most they can do is run. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas ain't in shape to run anyway. So they just gonna let a nigga whip up, take their shit, and bust their ass. You feel me? Like, that's that's not a way to live. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like I said, if you fuck with me, you gonna get a fire. You know what I'm saying? We used to ride around and hit ATMs. You feel me? Like, I had a fake Drizette, the beanie. I would look Jamaican. I talked like, yeah, what's up, man? What's up, man? Now, my Jamaican was terrible, you feel me? What's up, man? And I got down, go around, hitting them ATs, and I begin them MO, you feel me? Like, I don't want to talk too much. I don't know what kind of statute of limitations is going on, you feel me? But this was a little minute ago. This was a little while ago. And I bust my move, you feel me? Like, fuck that. How do I get 10K? Put me on some money. Somebody put me on some money. There's somebody who know how to get some money in this motherfucker. You feel me? Somebody put me on some. We ran. We ruined shit. What did we ruin? Like, let everybody get it. Like, niggas got them. They going to stop it anyway. Oh, did y'all see the motherfuckers who, who made... Was it a husband and wife or, or a nigga and his girl who ran up to 2.5 million? It was on Instagram bragging about it as they were spending it. They ran up 2.5 and was on Instagram bragging about the shit. What kind of dumb shit is that? You're actively doing it, right? You actively running up 2.5 million. From the EDD or the PPP scam. And you go on the Instagram and you bragging about it. Why you doing it? Man, let me tell you something about this white collar shit, man. Feds don't play about this shit. You feel me? Like, like on some real shit, like, Secret Service then came and got me twice and sat me down and be like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And you know, you know how I ain't on listen. I'm just a rapper. You feel me? Like, Cause you know scammers gravitate to me, man. Like I don't know why scammers gravitate to me. I don't know if it's my aura, how I look, jewelry. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why the scammers gravitate to me. But if it's a scammer doing something around me, I have no control over that. You feel me? Like niggas is just around. Like 
You feel me? And then, like, I'm the type of nigga, I'm not getting no lawyer, you know what I'm saying? Like, like my pops one time, right, he got down, I had an aggravated assault case, and he represented himself, and he won. You know, my pops got down, he was on his shit, you feel me? Like, like he, he got down one, he represented himself, so that's why I say if I go to court, I'm going to represent myself, because, you know, a lawyer will play with you. You know what I'm saying? Little bro got down. They tried to turn him in his lawyer. You feel me? You know, lawyer swap you out favor for favor with the courts. You know what I'm saying? Like all these niggas got down, like with the with the record label shit. I heard somebody online. I don't know who talking about. Oh, that's my boy Zoe Dollars. Listen, shout out to Zoe Dollars. That's my dog. Shout out to the Zoes. You feel me? But listen, it's cool to get a lawyer. But learn that shit yourself. These niggas will swap your ass out, man. You so listen. You gonna put your life in another nigga hand who you don't know, who you just met? Now, I can see if this lawyer known, you feel me, like Johnny Cochran, you feel me, he got OJ off, that was amazing. But you really gonna put your life, you facing life in prison and you not gonna try and learn the law so you don't go to prison for the rest of your life? You don't see your guy now, you don't see nobody no more. And you got your life in another nigga hands. I mean, that's on you, you feel me? Like, if you wanna do that with yourself, Go ahead. You're going to put your life in another person's hands? I can't do it. I don't put my life in nobody's hands but mine. Like, if I go, I'm going to go because it was my fault. You know what I'm saying? If I go, if I get locked up, it's going to be because it was my fault. You know what I'm saying? But some shit that I don't know, I'll get a lawyer on. But like I said, he got to get vouchers. Just like like my record deal that I had signed with, with Cash Money, I put my music career in his hands. I shouldn't have did that. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like that wasn't the best deal for me. Like, he was looking out for his pockets. He got paid the most off that deal. He got kickbacks off that deal. You feel me? So why would I why would I do that again? You know what I'm saying? I was going to let him do the second deal, but he was on some guy. Now, we going over here with this major. And I'm like, why are you trying to go to the major so bad? Like, what, what, what's that about? Because the independent over here offering way more. You feel me? They talking about 700, and they over here talking about 1.5, 2. You know what I'm saying? So why are we going with the 7? That, what sense does that make? They're doubling their offer. And talking about less of a percentage. Way less of a percentage. Because guess what? He was going to get kickbacks off that. They was going to sign me, and he was going to get kickbacks off that. That's why he doing that. He done got buddy-buddy with them folks, or he knew them folks, and got down. Guess what? Now it's them against me. It's my lawyer in the label against me. Why would I do that? Some of these lawyers be partners with the guy down with the DA. So it be the DA and your lawyer against you. You get what I'm saying? Them folks be got down turning your ass in. You got down, your mama done scraped up some money to got down pay the lawyer off. You feel me? She done got down scraped up 5000 10000 She ain't making that much anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, she fucked up anyway. You ain't making no money. You know what I'm saying? Like, the house done got put up the bonds out or some, some type of collateral. The bail bonds me. You feel me? Like, and the lawyer swapped you out. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You try what? You know what? How's that scamming? Listen, man, I come from I come from a long line of schemers. Like it's in my DNA. You feel me? Like just in my DNA, man. Like I can't help it. I can't get away from it. You know what I'm saying? Like this is just what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, nah, I don't fuck with the average person. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going for M's. Average person, I'm not. I'm not patient enough to to, to be trying to scheme two thousand people for fifty or a hundred dollars a piece. That's why you don't see me selling no fried Bible. Do you see me advertising the fried Bible on my page? Like, hey y'all, I got the fried Bible. Pay me a hundred. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to scam y'all. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't got time for that. I'm not selling no fucking fraud Bible. Like, no. I read it. You feel me? But if that shit ain't pertain to me. It ain't had nothing to do with me. It nothing to do with what I do. It's got no mediocre ass shit. You feel me? Like, like you got to think about it like this. 
if I could do it, why would I sell it to y'all for a hundred or fifty dollars? If I can make thousands or millions off of this, why would I sell it to y'all? It doesn't make sense. I would just do it myself. It's like the the send a nigga fifty and make five hundred. Why wouldn't I just put the 50 up and make 500 every time? Myself. I don't get it. I don't get how niggas don't be having common sense and get schemed for this shit. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm tripping. Somebody let me know. Like, I would just keep doing it myself. I don't need you to send me $50. Oh, my cousin work at Western Union. You send him 50, he can send you 500. It's a glitch in the system. Like, what what do I look like? I know, like, I know I had a partner who got them, he did it, got jugged, and then he told my other partner at work and got him jugged. I'm like, why would you, you got your dumb ass self jugged, then you got your partner jugged? Like, what we doing here, man? Like, cut you off quickly. You'll get me killed, man, with your dumb ass decision. You got to tell somebody my location who looking for me. You know, making decisions like that. Because it's small things. When you see the small things, it get bigger and bigger. So if a nigga doing dumb shit when they're small, it's going to be bigger and bigger. You get what I'm saying? What happened with you and Birdman? Was he just not letting your music out? Nah, I was putting out shit. I dropped. What I dropped? I dropped three CDs under him. But like... Honestly, like, I wasn't getting promoted because it was something going on internally, not with me. It didn't have nothing to do with me, but I was. Matter of fact, I think they did radio play for um, some of my songs, but I just wanted to be independent, man. Like, I'm not trying to be industry. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not the route I'm trying to go. It's not my calling out here to be an industry-ass nigga. You feel me? Like, doing the fake, all the fake promo and the... All this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's not my life path to be an industry-ass nigga. Like, once you become an industry nigga, you have to put on. Like, you can't talk like me. Like, when I become an industry nigga, if I become an industry nigga, I can't say what I want to say. I have to be politically correct. I can't talk about nothing, you know what I'm saying? I can't talk about nobody. Everything got to be cliche. You get what I'm saying? Like, when I do interviews, everything got to be something that got to sound cool to y'all ears so y'all are just like me. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you notice, most popping artists just say regular shit. It's nothing different. It's just regular shit, yes, no, blah, 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 regular nigga shit. You get what I'm saying? So once I become industry, that's the type of shit I got to do. I can't have an opinion on nothing like that. I can't piss nobody off. I I have to kiss everybody ass. I got to do that or I get blackballed. You get what I'm saying? But with me relying on myself, I ain't got to do that if I'm not in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't say fuck BET. Or guess what? Because I rely on that. I rely on y'all thinking I'm bigger than what I am. Me going on the BET Awards and performing or getting an award makes, to y'all, it makes it like I'm huge. So y'all believe in y'all mind. Oh, money, man, huge. You get what I'm saying? Like, bro, huge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's it, it, it kind of psychological. You get what I'm saying? Or if I go to the VMA and win an award, y'all think I'm bigger or more of a person than what I am. With me doing what I do going indie, I'm raking in the money. You feel me? Like, I'm sitting at the house making five shit. Breaking in the money. I ain't got to goddamn go to no awards. Go do this. I got the same jury as these rappers. Got the same whips. Same cribs. And I ain't got to do none of that. You feel me? Like, I just put y'all on. I just put y'all on game. That's all I do. You know what I'm saying? That's because everybody... That's because what... What you say? You know, they gonna try and, you know, I don't but I don't consider myself blackballed or nothing like that because like I said, I fought with like radio folks and, and people who do the streaming and shit like that. I ain't got nothing to say about them. Like that's a fairly new thing, so they kinda got down fought with a nigga like they ain't had no problem putting my shit on rap caviar and and got them rap life and shit like that. I salute them for that. Like shout out to Carl Cherry. He fought with the kid organically, you know what I'm saying, and, and all that, but, like, award shows, like, I ain't never heard, 
Like, they ain't never invited a nigga, no matter how hot I been or, or nothing like that. So, I really don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say fuck BET. I could care less if everybody complaining about or mad they ain't win. Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the Grammys. When a nigga don't win the Grammys, niggas be mad. Who cares? Like, that, that's not money. You know, I'd be mad if I ain't get paid. Like, oh, I ain't make my... Somebody playing me. I ain't getting paid. I'm mad as fuck. But if I don't win something that ain't got shit to do with me anyway, that don't determine the check. Like, fuck that shit. Now, Grammy could determine the check, though, because niggas might be like, oh, he won a Grammy. Let me goddamn do a song with him. But I ain't never heard no goddamn nigga be like, oh, Shawty won a Grammy. I got them. Let me get, let me do a feature with him. Like, niggas don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this niggas getting booked out here who got now ain't got a window who never won no Grammy. Like Gotti, I think Gotti was getting seventy five thousand on the show, no Grammy. I only think that nigga won a BET award and he out here getting seventy five K so I know Gucci ain't win no Grammy. Come on, Gucci's never winning a Grammy. I know he was getting every bit of fifty seventy a show. He's never winning a Grammy in his life. You feel me? So niggas out here who's never winning a Grammy in their life who's gonna be multi millionaires. I don't think Jay Z won. Jay Z might have won a Grammy. He seemed like a nigga who won a Grammy. You feel me? Like I know that nigga don't want a Grammy. Nas probably don't want a Grammy. I ain't gonna lie, they on a different level though. Money wise, they probably on a different level from Gucci and Gotti though. Like Jay Z, you know, he probably worth like what five hundred, six hundred million. I'm talking about liquid. I ain't doing that guy. Now all that big and that shit, man. We talking about liquid cash. He probably worth like four hundred. I say about three hundred. What y'all think? Liquid? I probably say like two hundred. It might just be a hundred liquid. You know, being liquid and, and something else is different. You know what I'm saying? Like them two different things. You can be liquid or you can have assets. So being liquid, you could you could be worth a billion, but your liquid only a hundred or two hundred million. So he probably worth like. 200 million liquid, but that's a lot of money. Like, well, I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to got no shit on them or nothing. They on different levels. I think they won Grammys, though. You feel me? Who, Jay-Z won three Grammys? See, I, I, I figured he got down won some Grammys or something. 200, yes, that's what I say about 200 million. See, I'd be happy if I'm worth 200 million. Like, I'm, I'm gonna try and get to a billion, but if I'm worth 200 million, I'm cool. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to find something now that make me worth two hundred million. Like I'm talking about quickly, Jack. Like it's the internet. I'm gonna find me a glitch somewhere. Y'all gonna see me pop up and be worth six hundred million. Oh God, you gonna see me pop up and be worth six hundred million? Cause look, this is what I do with rap. Rap is opening doors for me. You feel me? Like I got all kind of people contacting me. Like, hey man, we got this app over here. You wanna invest in it, or you wanna partner with us on it, or or some shit like that. Or, or hey man, you can get your own cannabis strain, man. We the second biggest weed manufacturer in the world. Or hey man, I got this blah 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 over here. Rap open doors for me. You get what I'm saying? Like, like on some real shit, I'm not signed with no major. So I know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna let me get in a little, but they're going to, you know, they're going to try and box a nigga out as much as they can because I get independent niggas hope. You feel me? Like, if a nigga found out he could be independent and make make what I make, nigga will probably got down and go that route. So, I, you know, I tread lightly under the water. You know what I'm saying? So, so like I said, got down route opening doors. Like, like at first, I was just got down. To be honest, like... When I started with Black Circle, I was like, let me rap about a goddamn bunch of loud that I'm selling. So more plugs will hit my phone up. And guess what? Growers heard that shit and started calling the kid. Like, oh, shit, shawty got down. I'm on it. I fuck with his music. Because a lot of growers was playing my music for their plants. If y'all don't know, a lot of growers will play music for their plants because they believe they help it grow. That's what they still do to this day. They play, they play my music for their plants to help it grow. You know what I'm saying? That's like a grow technique some niggas use. So I just did that just to open doors. You feel me? Like I try and I try and attract shit to me. That's that's my goal. Like, let me attract whatever I want, let me attract it to me. So that's why I say rap open doors. So I make music to attract certain different type of people to me so I can make more money out of that shit, if you get what I'm saying. Somebody calling. Hey, bro. 
flesh. Those flowers who gone off oh, man. Yeah, a lot of shit, a lot of shit y'all smoke probably done got down, came off, got down my music. Cause I, all growers do is tag me. And I hear my shit playing and they got down grow house. And I used to be like, damn, got down the grower just playing my shit, got down while he growing this shit. That's reverse marketing right there. <laughs> yeah, you see what's going on. You feel me? Do you have more music in the vault? You want some more shit? I, I got some more shit coming. I'm going to drop some more shit. I've been dropped three albums this year. You feel me? Like three albums. I did a uh, state of emergency, epidemic. Then I did the epidemic deluxe. But I ain't going to count. Like, I got to shoot some more videos. I'm finna start going crazy shooting videos. Because, you know, I ain't going to count. Like, I don't be shooting no videos like that. You feel me? But I'm going to start shooting a bunch of videos um, and shit like that. So y'all will see what the fuck going on. Because a nigga got down and don't be shooting that many videos. We still... And this shit can't. My OnlyFans put you taking and giving to. Yeah, I'm gonna do an OnlyFans. But I be on here got man giving that shit out free, but I'm gonna give an OnlyFans so niggas will start paying, you feel me? Cause, cause um a lot of this shit I'm probably missing out on a lot of money, goddamn, that I could be making from this shit.